Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a smart mouse trap. Now, during harvest time on a farm, when we harvest our blueberries and our corn, and then we get into the tree fruits, now this attracts a lot of rodents because now there's food available. And the worst thing about rodents is if they get into your farm machinery and start chewing on the wiring harnesses, it get, can get quite expensive. So there's got to be some way to capture these rodents. So this is a technique I'm using. So I got a vacuum tube. So on this end of the tube, we hook, a, hook up a shop vac. And I have an infrared sensor that's uh, coupled into the tube. So as the mouse enters the tube, it triggers the infrared sensor. And then it will uh, activate the shop vac, which will suck up the rodent into the shop vac. So this uh, control cable is connected up into a control box. And in that box is a microcontroller. And it will detect uh, when this infrared sensor is triggered and then turn on the shop vac. So my little control box uh, controls the operation of this uh, smart mousetrap. Okay, here's my control box for my smart mousetrap. So I have a NEMA 4 enclosure which is an electrical junction box and I installed a terminal strip onto the box. Now inside the box is an Arduino Nano and there's a solid state AC relay. Now I've put a, a receptacle box on top of my control box and it's powered by 120 volts AC and I have two outlets on the top. Now this first outlet is powered directly by the 120 volts coming in and that gives me 5 volts into my uh, control box. So this is where I hook up my infrared detector. So when this infrared detector gets triggered, it will activate this outlet, which is switched by the relay. And this is where you plug in the shop vac. So that's my control box there. So what we'll do, we'll open it up and we'll have a look inside. Okay, I have the cover off of my control box so we can have a look inside. You can see in the back there we have a solid state AC relay, which can handle up to 10 amps. And I have my Arduino Nano. It's mounted on a Vero board and there's my terminal strip. So there's not too much in there so the Arduino Nano senses the infrared detector that's connected up to this terminal strip and then activates the solid state relay, the AC relay which energizes uh, this outlet which controls the shop vac. Okay I have my proximity infrared sensor powered up and you can see on the sensor there's a sensitivity pot and there's a LED indication LED which indicates when the sensor is triggered so I have a screwdriver and I'll insert it into the tube and you can see once he triggers that's when it senses a mouse in the vacuum tube. Now obviously you cannot put bait directly into the vacuum tube otherwise it will get sucked up by the vacuum. So what I do, I use a bait tube, I get another tube and I install it here ahead of the sensor so the, the mouse will never get the bait. It will smell it but it won't get it, it will get sucked in before it gets the bait. And inside this tube, you could hang your bait with a string so it's not inside the tube itself. And for bait, I use peanut butter. I use um, a hot dog wiener cut, cut really thin, uh, wet cat food, even jelly beans works. So that's one way to do it. Another way, I use uh, rare earth magnets, one on the outside, one on the inside. The inside magnet has the bait on it, so I just slide it in. So there's a couple of ways you could put bait into the tube. And then you just adjust the sensitivity so you get a reliable activation when the mouse enters the vacuum tube. Okay, I powered up my setup and I have my shop vac plugged into the control outlet, my control box. And I can trigger it and you'll hear the vac come on for three seconds and then shut off. Now it's ready for the next trigger. Now if any object gets stuck in the tube and blocks the sensor, it has a shutdown mode. Now it senses there's something in the tube, it'll try again. Now it's in shutdown mode. So nothing is going to activate it. The only way to, to activate it now is to reset it, is to unplug the power, and plug it back in, and then we're back to normal. Okay, here's the block diagram of our smart mousetrap. So you can see the Arduino Nano and our infra infrared detector and they're both powered by 5 volts from the 5 volt AC adapter wall wart which is plugged into our receptacle. 
So PIN2 is the input, it senses the infrared sensor output and the output is open collector so we have a pull up on PIN2 and it's configured as an input. Now PIN8 is configured as an output and that's driving the solid state relay. So the solid state relay is optocoupled so there's an optocoupler in the input so PIN8 drives an LED inside the solid state relay which turns on the triac and the triac activates the vac the shot back which is plugged into the switched receptacle so it's powered here it's powered by 120 volts switches through the solid state relay and then it activates the the outlet so there's a block diagram there so all we need now is some software to control the infrared sensor feeding the nano which is driving the solid state relay okay here's the code running on my nano and it's written in flash forth but you could use any language of your choice so the first word is init mouse, so it's going to initialize all my GPIO. So pin 2 is set up as an input with a pull-up. And pin 8 is set up as an output and driving it low. And then pin 13 is an output and driving it low. Now pin 13 drives the LED on board the Nano, and I'm using that for my shutdown mode. So next word is wait for mouse. So that's a loop. It's the begin until loop, and it's waiting for pin 2 to go low. Now pin 2 is the output of the infrared detector, so when there's no mouse, this loop will be continuously looping until, okay, until pin 2 goes low, and then it'll jump out of this loop. Now vac on, that's vacuum on, makes pin 8 go high, which will drive the solid state relay. And vacuum off, pin 8 goes low, which shuts off the vacuum. Mouse question mark, it's actually looking at pin 2, and if it's low, it'll give a, a true value. So I'll just detect if there's a mouse. So this is my main program called Mousetrap. So the first word is init mouse, so that initializes all the GPIO, then it goes into a begin again loop. It's a continuous loop. So it sits in a, in a loop waiting for mouse, waiting for pin 2 to go low. Now when pin 2 goes low, the vac comes on, so it turns on a vacuum for 3 seconds. Now you could increase that to 4 or 5 seconds depending on the length of your hose on your, on your, on your vac. Then the vac goes off, turns off the vacuum, and then it goes back up waiting for mouse again. There's one problem with this program, Mousetrap, if something gets jammed in there and, and pin 2 is low, it stays low, then this will constantly drive the vacuum on. So my next variation is called Mousetrap 2. This has a shutdown mode, so the beginning is the same. Knit mouse goes into a begin again loop, so this is a continuous loop. So it waits for mouse, pin 2, and pin 2 goes low, turns on the vacuum for 3 seconds, then it turns it off. Then it senses, is there a mouse? If there is, it's going to wait th for three seconds. Then it's going to turn the vacuum on for three seconds. And then off. Then it's going to check, is there a mouse? Is, is the input pin 2 still low? And if it is, then it's going to toggle pin 13 on and off in a continuous loop. So this is a begin, a gain loop. So it's going to be stuck in this loop forever. And it's going to be blinking pin 13. That's the LED on the Nano. That's the shutdown mode. Now to get out of this mode, we reset the computer and run the program again. Then it will it'll go back to the beginning and run Mousetrap 2. So that's the code there, running on my Nano. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how I made my smart Mousetrap. Now you don't have to use all the components I did. You could come up with your own circuit. Like the solid state relay, you could actually use a normal relay instead of a solid state relay. Now in my software, I had my shutdown in case the pin 2 went low, something got stuck in the tube, and the vacuum would run continuously. One thing about these solid state relays, you can see here, it states it can handle 10 amps. But if you look at if you go into the, the data sheet, that's 10 amps with an adequate heat sink. If you look at the back, it has a metal backing, and the mounting is part of the metal backing. Now you have to mount this on adequate heat heat sink to get a continuous 10 amp rating from this relay, otherwise you'll burn it out. So that's one thing you should watch out for. And if you don't want to go this route, then you could go to the normal relay. So that's how I made my mousetrap, so you could come up with your own ideas to make your own smart mousetrap.